Hey there guys, and welcome to episode 46 of my Pokemon Stadium Round 2 playthrough. Uh, last episode, we got through uh, the Saffron City Gym, and now we're going to start the Cinnabar Island Gym. So, let's get into it. Okay, so we've got a, a ground type, a f two fighting types, a normal type, a poison ground type, and a bug flying type. All right. So, um, we set in Starmie because I can hit most of them except for in Raticate. Then, um, as a way to hit most of them and avoid Earthquake, I'll go for Charizard. And then, um, so last option, I'll go with, uh, I guess I'll go, go with, uh, go with Gengar then. Actually, yeah. scratch that. Starmie, Charizard, and, uh, Alexam. In theory. Although this is a good start. Uh, again, I'm pretty sure Surf is more powerful than Psychic, so I'll go for that. And I'm not really surprised about Speed's Nidoking. King. Nidoking's King's not that fast. Like <laughs> focus on energy team, really? <laughs> okay. Well, this should make things easier then. Go by rather quickly then. Oh, it's my chance. This is a fight between two different. Okay, yep, this is gonna go by quickly. I'm pretty sure Miss Champ is gonna s s usually survives that, but yeah. Well, if it's another fine type or something, this is going to be even easier. Scyther, okay. I do have Blizzard and Thunderbolt, though, so... Let's go for the more powerful of the two. <laughs> yes, it has. <laughs> okay, so now I have a bit of an issue. Uh, well, in that case, I'll try for one more Thunderbolt, and if it misses, then I'll just keep going for... I mean, I'll try for Blizzard. If that misses, I'll go for Thunderbolt. There we go. That makes up for it. Alright, then. That wasn't too difficult. Actually, it wasn't, didn't attack at all, so... Yeah. Anyway, let's move on. Okay then, so we've got an electric type, a uh, ghost poison type, a uh, rock ground type, a grass psychic type, a poison type, and a water ice type. So, um... I'm thinking of starting off with... I'm going to start with Raiju just in case I have to deal with Electrode, so I'll do that. And actually, this might be an Explosion team, because I believe all these Pokemon get Explosion. Uh, so in that case, I'm going to bring in Dragonite for some extra bulk. And I can hit... we can deal with... 
Uh, actually, only really a few of them. Uh, three of them. And there's another option. Uh, let's see here. I guess. Um, I guess Gengar. Because it's like a avoid explosion. So, Raichu, Dragonite, and Gengar. Let's give it a try. Okay, that's our, that's an alright matchup. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah, right, she's not going to survive that, so I had to pick someone who can last on that one. And I think... Uh, I think Dragonite, like Dragonite is the bulkiest Pokemon I have, I believe. And of course, um, Gengar will just avoid it. So, I might do a bit of a bait and switch. Like, literally. Hmm. I know it's not going to go for right out of the. I doubt it's going to go for right out of the bat, but. Just in case. Switch out to Gengar. Usually only does it if you have the type advantage, so in that case I don't. Oh, <laughs> okay then. Well, that was convenient. I think you'd go for right the first turn, because Dragonite doesn't really didn't get Psychic or Earthquake, so <laughs> that works. Of course, uh, Gengar doesn't. I mean, uh, Dragon doesn't really have anything to hit Gengar with, so. Bide. <laughs> really? Bide on Gengar? Okay. Alright, let's go down and. Okay, three hit. It'll go down. I know Gengar will get knocked out before Bide activates. Because in the first generation, it takes three turns, I believe. Even if it does, I don't think Bide can... If Bide doesn't take typing into a... Uh, if it takes typing into account, then it's not going to do anything. Because Bide's a normal type move. Although it looks like it won't matter. So the drop special drop really didn't matter. But either way... Okay... I think um, I think last time I, I think in round one I didn't actually have a ghost type, or if I did, I just never got con lucky enough to switch in onto an explosion. Again, I'd have to <laughs> I'd have to double check, but either way, that's done. One out of the way, so let's go on to round thir uh, third trainer. But that was always a really annoying one for me was the explosion team. It's, I think it's the only one in the game. Um, well, one of one of the only ones, if not the only one. Anyway, we've got a water psychic type. Actually, scratch that. Two water psychic types. A psychic type. A water fighting type. A ice psychic type. And an electric type. So, um, again, mix of some weaknesses to electricity. So I'm going to start off with Raichu again, in case Magahan shows up. Then I need someone who can resist psychic. So... Um, I actually am going to bring in Starmie. And then, as a last option, I guess just for neutral coverage, we'll go for Alakazam. So, Raichu, Starmie, and Alakazam. Not a bad matchup. Um, I'm not sure, again, I'm not sure if it's going to go for Psychic or Fate for Thunder Wave, because I know it has, I've already figured out it has both of those. The fir first of which being a bit more obvious, so we'll see. We'll at least get, we'll try to get one hit in. Amnesia, okay. I'm not sure that's really going to matter right now. It might have just turn into a two-hit KO, but either way, I'll try for Thunderbolt one more time. 
Okay, so it did make a difference, but let's see. Alright, I think Raichu can still take that as long as it's not a crit. Yeah. Barely, though. Took over two-thirds of Raichu's health. Okay. It's actually good to switch out, because I, I was considering going straight to Starmie, and that would have been a bad matchup. Not to mention it would have been a 3 hit KO under normal circumstances. So, yeah. Expect the unexpected, I guess. And just in case, I'm going straight for Thunder Wave. I'm guessing Mag Magnum's probably going to do the same thing, to be honest. Or, well, if it was, it we won't know. So, I'll just side and toss until Raichu gets KO'd. Yeah, I thought as much. So I can get at least one uh, more attack in before our Raichu goes down. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright. Okay. Well, I know that without a crit, um, Raichu's can survive it, because last time Magneton came out, a crit nearly did, took out half of Raichu's health. So as long as Raichu doesn't get paralyzed... Yep, we got... It's all set. So that means one more Pokemon left, and Raichu's going to get KO'd anyway. Give me these battles are going by rather quickly. Okay. This opponent is going to let Raichu stand and take the hit. Alright. And it did a good job, too. So. We'll go for, uh... Go for Alaka Sam. I'm not sure what water type moves Polyrath can get, but uh, either way, I think Alaka Sam would be a better choice. Probably going to be uh, yeah, two hit KO. Alrighty then. Well, with that in mind, then, switch out to Starmie, because can't have two Pokemon asleep. <laughs> Not what I would have gone for. I, I think we'd have a war type move or something. That would have been one of my choice. I'm guessing the strategy is probably just to lower the special stat or something. Either way. And that's that. Hmm. Alright, and um, I'm actually getting the episode here, so I'll catch you guys next time. Uh, in the next episode, when we challenge Blaine. Catch you guys then. Bye, guys.